Hello, I just wanted to share uh, an insight that I had uh, when I was building my picking skills. And this goes for all tank picking, sweep picking, whatever picking it is. And it is to, to choose or select a pick that is fat, you know, two millimeters in thickness, and that has a very round tip. Because what that does is, if you imagine this to be the string, um, and you see a cross section of it, let me just turn down my guitar here, um, you see a cross section of it. And I approach it with a very fat pick with a very round tip, and I start picking. It's almost like two uh, tennis balls grazing up against each other, more than it's a picking motion, right, where I pluck the string, I move it. Um, so, so in that, it's actually really beneficial because when I'm practicing, I don't have that much accuracy yet. You know, that's what I'm practicing. I'm practicing accuracy as far as picking depth goes. And if I change my picking depth just one tenth of a millimeter, uh, it doesn't it doesn't really matter that much because I have all this roundness uh, that helps me, right? And you can just imagine those two tennis balls. You know, uh, if you're having a hard time understanding this, but that's really what happens. You have round surfaces that. Um, that work together. But if you have a very sharp, very stiff pick that does the same thing, now we're actually into the plucking motion where you move the string away and then that round um, motion there releases the, the string at some point, right? So you push it down and then it, it's released and then it vibrates. So when it's, when it's uh, moving back. And that's a totally different thing because you're moving the string, right? And when you're picking with a very round, very fat pick, you're almost not moving the string. You're doing something, you are activating the string. A little like a bow on a violin. You're gracing it, zing, 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 zing. And you can also pick it if you move just a little closer. But because you, this pick is ruthless, you are punished for each and every single little inaccuracy. Uh, and that's the reason why you want to go for a pick that's very fat and very round in the on the tip there, which allows for more inaccuracy. Because when you're practicing any picking, what you are really practicing is accuracy as far as picking depth goes and as, as far as how much force you use uh, each time you pick. And if you're having an uneven amount of resistance for each pick stroke, because you have an uneven picking depth for each pick stroke, then it's going to be really, really hard to get your picking up to speed, which is why it's hard to get your picking up to speed, <laughs> right? So if you choose a pick with a very fat round tip, then it's going to be much easier for you to get to the point where you can get and play faster because you need less accuracy, okay? So you're going to get results faster, be more motivated. It's going to be more fun to practice. And that's why you're going to develop much faster if you have a fat pick, two millimeters in thickness at least, and then with a very round tip. The purple Dunlop is, is very good for this. Um, so that's really the insight. And then for the second phase, because there are really two phases, the first development phase, and then afterwards you can refine your picking skills afterwards. And for that refinement, you can start to focus more on sound than you do on your technique. And when you start using picks that has a, you know, a sharper end, you'll get more high end in your sound and you'll get more noise in the beginning of the sound because each instrument has uh, really two characteristics. One is the note that you hear, once the pick stroke, the noise is over. That, this, right there. But if you hear just that, it could sound like a violin, you know. I don't know if you can hear that, but if you remove the attack from the sound, you can almost not identify what instrument it is because you just hear, Whoa. and it could be a violin, could be a guitar, could be a piano without the attack. The initial attack. And so the, the initial attack is extremely important to your sound because it defines, you know, even what instrument it is that people think they're hearing. So it's very important. And so you want to refine your technique, but you can do that by gradually going for a sharper tip, less fat tip. And you can just go from two millimeters in thickness to, you know, 1.8 or 1.5, and then gradually move towards a stiffer pick. And thereby, you don't even notice that you are gradually putting on that that uh, increased challenge. But you don't notice because it's so little each time. So you, 
It's effortless to refine your picking technique and to get that last level of accuracy that allows you to play with a very sharp end that really that really gives you uh, the most amount of control over your sound. Or you want to stay with the fat pick because you like that mellow, that round attack or round uh, sound. Can a sound be round? I don't know. But this um, concludes this little video. So see you in another one.